welcome back to my channel and today I have another really super cute uh, DIY from the Dollar Tree. Um, what I'm going to do is make a flower toperary for fall and I think it's going to be gorgeous. So let me show you what you'll need to make the project. Um, this is the only thing I didn't get at Dollar Tree. It's just a styrofoam cone. Mine is 15 inches tall. Um, you can get get yours wherever you can find it. I got mine at AC Moore. Um, I looked at, like I said, Dollar Tree, they didn't have any. I couldn't, um, I don't know if I went to Walmart. I think Walmart might have them, but it was very inexpensive. So, and then you just need some fall flowers, whatever you think you're going to like. Um, I got these, I, I cut the names off. I think this is called like a globe flower. I got that. And then these are, I think they're mums. Yeah, these are mums. And then these are mini mums. And I just got a bunch of different colors. And these are dahlias. And they have the burlap inside. And then I got some more um, mums. And some more dahlias. And then these were called, I think this is... I think they're globe flowers or they're um, mini flowers with grass. Maybe they're mini flowers with grass. I'm not sure. And then I got this collar. And then these are mini mums. And then I got some mini daisies. And these are your mums, I think. And then these are the globe flowers, I think. I'm not sure. And then these are berries, and then these are um, mums again. So just get you a variety of colors, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the stems off of them, and I'm going to cut it. Oh, you'll need a glue gun, and then you're going to need um, something to cut your uh, flowers off with. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut them very close up here to the stem. So just snip that off like that and then you have that. It's really super cute and very easy but I think it's really going to give us a look. So I'm excited about that. So I'll come back after I snip all my flowers off and we'll start putting it together the temporary. I'll be right back. Okay guys I'm back and I, as you can see I just cut the flowers off the stems and I'm thinking that I may need to cut this closer than I have it right here. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see how that looks. Um, I think I will have to cut it a little bit closer. So let me see if I can get that a little closer. I could just take it off, but if I do that, my flower will fall apart. So as you can see, I've cut it as close as I possibly can get it. And we'll see how that goes. All right, and then just start putting your flowers on here however you like that you think is pretty. So let's let's start uh, gluing it. Okay, I think I'm going to lay it, well, no, yeah, I better lay it down. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a good bit of glue on this flower. And then I'm just going to put it right here and hold it. Push it down and hold it. Okay, and now you can see what we have. Pick it up and put it where you can, where you set it down, it will sit nicely and the flower won't be bunched up. Okay, there's one. Now let me just glue this one. I think it's really going to be pretty. I just wanted something to just look like I was out in the middle of a bunch of fall leaves because down here we really don't get that much and you can see that so far. So I'm just going to keep going around and gluing my flowers. This one right here because I didn't I didn't leave room for that one. Okay, 
Okay, I just glued this one right here. And then I'm going to glue one of these really big ones. On there. Right like that. Okay, I'm back. And what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this little back off. And as long as that little thing's still down in there, that plastic, it will stay. So I'm just going to kind of put things however I, I like them. And um, how I think it will look good. But that is what we have so far, and I think it's looking really super cute. So I'll come back after I get a couple rows done so you don't have to watch me do this for time purposes. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I'm finished with it. And as you can see, I think it turned out really, really super cute. Um, but this is how it looks all the way around. And I did end up putting some berries on there, but I just cut them down because I thought that it was too big just to go... Um, on the topiary, it kind of overwhelmed it. So I just took little pieces and cut them out and glued them where I thought I needed to. And like I said, I ran out of these really pretty orange ones, so I just started using the sunflowers, I mean the Gerber daisies, and I think it turned out really nice. You could also put um, lights in this if you wanted to, but I'll show you, I'm gonna put it in my living room. Um, I'm not decorating for fall yet. And that's probably not where it's going to go. I don't really know. But I'll have to look. But I'll just let you see what it looks like. But it's really quick and it's really easy. Um, and when I got up to the top, what I did is I just took, uh, if I needed something smaller, and pretend this is a petal, a flower petal, and I glued it together like that and folded it. And then I just glued it on to the foam. Uh, right in here is where I did that. But the others were large but I think it turned out really really super cute so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel until next time bye guys okay guys I'm back in my living room and as you can see I really think this turned out beautiful it gives such a fall look I really do love it and it was super easy to make all Dollar Tree flowers so, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.